guys uh, coming at you with another project and another video. To give you guys a quick walkthrough of the before on this project, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be knocking out some paint, some cord around, some trim, some flooring, maybe some drywall repairs. So without further ado, let's do a quick walkthrough. On the first room here, all this floor and all these rooms have seen high traffic from dog, urine, crab, all that stuff. So we're going to be ripping up all the floor on all the other, all the floor and all the underlay, getting that ripped out of here. This floor was installed with cord around in this room, so all we gotta do is rip the cord around, the flooring should come right out. And then we also have graffiti remover to get rid of a lot of this graffiti on the walls, it's not really pretty. We've got a turtle on here that makes you scared of turtles. We've got textured walls over here. We've got crayon everywhere, so what we wanna do is we wanna drain this, all these crayons, get it out of here, remove it with some graffiti remover, replace the floor, do the cord around, and move on to the next room. So the next room, it's kind of the same deal. We've got some flooring we've got to replace here, and then we've got cord around. We're going to be ripping up the cord around, painting the trim, painting the walls. We've got some stickers on the sill that we've got to remove and get rid of that. Hmm. So the other room we can't pick up with our nails, we use the graffiti remover. We'll, uh, we'll ease it up with the graffiti remover. We've got to paint some trim here. We've also got really, really dark trim that I don't think that Carly likes. Do you like that, Carly? Not really. Okay. So we're going to replace that trim with some new paint and flooring, move on to the next room. This is going to be considered the master bedroom here. The paint looks relatively decent, but you see a lot of dirt marks on the wall. We see a little bit of drywall repair that we need to do here. It's cracking up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to probably cut this drywall out here. And there's a little bit on top of the door in this area. So I'm going to do a little bit of drywall repair in here, get the flooring out of here, get the cord around out of here. Paint it all, put the flooring, cord around back in here, and then this room will be done as well. It all needs a really, really good cleaning, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, and this room is gonna be the same as the other rooms. The floor flows all the way through, so we're gonna replace the floor in all those rooms. We're gonna replace this underlay. There's a lot of dog traffic in here, so I think there's gonna be a lot of wet urine under this. We're gonna be replacing all this floor, all the floor in each room, paint, trim, and then we're gonna do one more walkthrough when this is done. So, I'm excited to get into this. We just got the keys today. Carly's feeling pretty good, although it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, we've got some help outside. We've got Carly's mom. We've got another person helping. What's up, guys? Travis back at it here with another renovation. I'm going to give you guys a final walkthrough on this project that we just finished up here. What we did on this project was a complete gun of paint, the trim, the receptacles, the flooring, some light fixtures, and some bits and bits here and there. So to guide you guys through this whole place, we've got the master bedroom here. Through all these bedrooms, we more or less did the same thing, a little bit of tweaks here and there. For this master bedroom, it was all plastered. So with this wall, and this wall was just too disgusting and too cracked up for us to leave it the way it was. So we replaced this with some drywall. We gave this whole room a facelift with the trim paint. We cleaned up the windows. We put a new coat of paint on here. New coat of paint on the door. We even switched up the door handles. We did the switches, the receptacles, the cord ground, the flooring, and pretty well we did that for every one of these rooms, a little bit of tweaks here and there. So coming on to the next one here, this more or less has become a little bit of a storage closet, um, potentially moving in in the next couple of days. So this room here, we didn't do any drywall work. It was more or less just paint, switches, receptacle, cord around, painting the trim, painting around the window, and getting the flooring complete. So this room, shiny bright, as long as as well as, my bad, as well as this room in the front. This room is gonna be used for more of an exercise room. As you can see here from the front, those are trap lunges, and stuff like that. This whole room got a fresh coat of paint. All of these rooms actually got four coats. We were only planning on doing three, but there was a few things that we planned on doing and went a little bit overboard. We planned on doing two coats everywhere, but it still had a little bit of bleed through, so we went on, a, went on ahead and put a third coat on. Um, we did some light fixtures and stuff like that that really set our uh, time a little bit off. But we quoted this job for it was going to be three to four weeks. After the, the light fixtures, after a few receptacle switches and some tweaks here and there, this took just over a month. So when we did this project, as I said earlier, we did the complete gut of all the flooring. We actually laid down stuff floor here right on this level and right on that room as well. We wanted to make sure 
that we didn't want any creaks, we wanted everything to be as even and as structurally sound as possible. So it just made sense to put the plywood here. We went ahead and extended it into the other bedroom. It only cost about 50 or 60 dollars of labor, so it was really, really worth it. So we also did the intake vent covers. We had an HVAC crew come in and a duct cleaning crew come in and actually clean everything up. So everything is smells great. The only thing we have left to do is this smash plate team molding here. As soon as the smash plate team molding's in, this whole project is going to be considered complete. So we started this project the very end of November to the beginning of December, within a day or two of it turning over the new month. And it is January 5th now, and we're just about complete. As I said, it took a little bit longer than we expected it to, but there's some little tits and bits here and there that we didn't expect to, we didn't quote in the first place, but we went on ahead and added in the deal. So that's the whole tour of this property here. We hope to see you guys in the next one.